As the Brexit saga drags on with a new deadline for October this year, the world waits. The UK is South Africa's largest trading partner within the EU. Like other key partners, South Africa is anxiously awaiting a decision on the UK's exit from Europe. Will it be with or without a deal? The government has been exploring several scenarios to limit any negative impact to South Africa. Trade negotiations are ongoing. However, there will be no definitive answer until Britain decides. CTTN Sumitra Naidu reports. South Africa's main exports to the UK are platinum, automotives and fruit and volumes have been growing steadily over the years. In 2018, exports to the UK reached close to $5 billion. What Britain decides to do in regard to its European exit is critical for South Africa. But it's clear Britain wants to leave and it might do so without a deal. If that happens, uh, all external uh, arrangements of the European Union will remain uh, in force as they are until uh, the end of 2020. But that means that South Africa's trade future with the UK remains in limbo. If anything like a customs union uh, were to be the final arrangement that Britain has with the uh, European Union, uh, then in fact what would happen is that the economic partnership agreement we have with the European Union would just continue uh, without any uh, real appre appreciable uh, differences noticeable uh, at our end. The UK remains South Africa's top export market for wine by value, rising 5% in 2018. Fruit exports to the UK jumped by 15%. Important trade that needs to be secured. Experts believe South Africa shouldn't waste this time waiting. Countries would be approaching the UK uh, to say this is what we are able to offer, trying to set up some discussions or exploratory talks ahead of a potential Brexit to see whether there aren't opportunities that we could take advantage of. Obviously the UK is not able to sign any of those uh, agreements until they formally exit it, but you can, you can certainly negotiate and I think that would be critical for South Africa to do that. South Africa, like every other country that trades with the United Kingdom, will have to renegotiate these deals. South Africa, though, has a number of challenges that it needs to start out first before it takes advantage of this opportunity. We've got to have consistent electricity production. We've got to make sure that labor markets are reasonably stable and that we can uh, improve our mining output and therefore commodity output. While this is an opportunity for South Africa, I think a lot of work has to be done domestically to take advantage of that opportunity. It's an important election year. South Africans go to the polls in just a few weeks. Europeans will have their vote at the end of May. Britain is still deciding. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.